Look at that. Yeah. Can we get popcorn? Of course we can get some popcorn. With much of too? Yeah. Um, maybe. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Dad, what are you doing? Watch your brother and your sisters. Dad, what about the movie? We're gonna be late. No worries, I'll be right back. Listen, when you have the opportunity to make a small difference in someone's life, take it. Here we go. My dad has always been the type of person to go out of his way to help others. The Mr. Aloha, drop and do anything to help others kind of guy. Whether it was helping the auntie across the street with her yard, helping a family move in down the road, or fixing the bike of one of the neighborhood kids. Dad was everyone's favorite neighbor, uncle, and friend. He was a single father raising four kids. He worked two jobs so we could make ends meet. But us kids never would have known how hard it was because he always wore a smile. We had all that we needed, and life was good. Until one day he came home, and the man that walked through the door didn't resemble my dad at all. The doctor said it was a brain tumor and that he had months to live. The surgery to remove the fist-sized mass left him partially paralyzed, and the constant seizures left him unable to work. Spend as much time as you can. His disability income wasn't nearly enough to cover the cost of us four kids. I could see the worry in his eyes every time I brought the mail to him. We barely had enough for food, but the notices kept coming. It wasn't long after that he asked me to pack a few bags for my siblings and I. Only the necessities, and I just remember thinking, how do you choose what's a necessity? To me, it was all a necessity. These were our belongings. This was my childhood. My books. Our games. The movie nights. This was our home. Our home was the only one we knew. But we had to leave. And just like that, we were homeless. After three years of homelessness, we moved into public housing. where we remained for many years. All this time, we struggled through life on our own. We worked hard for the opportunity to one day move out of public housing and into a house again. But every month presented a new hurdle. Struggling to make ends meet, never being able to get ahead, it was always one step forward, two steps back. It's hard to believe in a brighter future when all you're trying to do is keep your head above water. But I underestimated the power of community and a helping hand. After all these years, we finally started to see a glimmer of hope.
Dad had too much pride to ask for help, but we needed it. And I heard that Aloha United Way helped families like ours. So I called, and the first phone call was truly our saving grace. Thank you for calling Aloha United Way. How can I help you? I shared that we were struggling, and they were so caring and understanding. They asked questions to see how to best help us. And before I knew it, I had all kinds of help from several different nonprofits. Most importantly, they didn't make me feel ashamed to be where I was, and they gave us hope. Through their many services, we were able to get the financial, educational, and emotional support we needed. They connected us with an organization that allowed us to qualify to get our own land, and another organization that helped us to build our very own home. Over nine months, we worked the hardest we ever had before to push through to the finish line. My dad was the most determined I had ever seen him. He wanted this more than any of us, and for us. You could see that he wanted to redeem the past and all that he felt he had lost. And as I watched him, I was reminded of the man he once was. The man who gave so much of himself to his neighbors, his friends, and strangers alike. And it was like he was reborn and full of joy. My dad was back. The day we walked into our new home, the feeling was surreal. Because you see, it wasn't just a house. This was our freedom. Our security. And a warm embrace. This was our journey home.